think we've learned quite a lot since 1990. I talked to Secretary Perry just before coming down here. He tells me that uh, our precision-guided uh, uh, weapons are even more effective now than they were four years ago, and we're certainly better positioned in terms of the pre-positioning of equipment than we were uh, four years ago. Sir, you said you, you hope... Are you demanding that the Iraqis withdraw the extra-Christian border or just that they not attack the way? What I would say is that they ought to comply with all the uh, UN resolutions. Uh, they, they should respect that border. They should comply with the other resolutions with, with respect to the minorities in their countries. Uh, they uh, uh, certainly should understand that uh, neither Kuwait nor the United States nor the free world is going to be intimidated by this kind of a movement. It isn't just the movement of the troops, of course. It's the movement of the troops accompanied by the bellicose statements that they've made that uh, makes us view this as a very serious situation. The situation in Kuwait uh, affects the talk you talk between Israel and Syria. Not at all. My, my, my judgment is that uh, uh, the very fact that the coalition uh, is so strongly opposed to what uh, Saddam Hussein and the Iraqis are doing here uh, gives even more uh, moment to the e even more movement to the uh, peace process. As you know, uh, uh, Syria and Egypt, as well as the Arab League and the Organization of the Islamic Conference, have come out very strongly against these moves by uh, Saddam Hussein. So I think that uh, the fact that uh, uh, the countries in the region are so strongly opposed to this action uh, ought to be uh, really a, a force moving us, moving the peace process forward. So I, I do not expect to be deterred in my efforts to help facilitate the process. I certainly don't intend to let that happen. Thank you very much.